Are you interested in investing in stocks but unsure how to choose the right ones? Today I will discuss the top 5 critical fundamental factors to consider when selecting stocks. And I will show you how to use the popular stock screener or scanner FinViz to filter stocks based on these critical. So let's get started. So as you see we are on Finviz now and what we want to do here on the top of menu we will check or select screener. So this is where the all magic happens. Uh, on top here we have a bunch of option here. My main critical area that I'm going to mix them all up it's all so you click on all so that way you have everything uh, available to you you don't have to click on any other tabs so the first fundamental factor to consider is earning per share or eps indicates a company's profitability and its ability to generate earning for shareholders look for companies with constantly growing eps as this demonstrate the financial strength and potential as you can see here we have all these options here but what we want we want the EPS so right here these are the EPS that we have option to select right I want the EPS in five years so on the film business screener set the EPS growth past five years parameters to positive so we want them we want to basically look into or choose the uh, company that is positive for the past five years so that's that way we basically weed out any other one that are losing or not making money from the past five years the second critical factor is the price to earning ratio or PE ratio this ratio compares a company's stock price to its earning and helps determine if the stock is overvalued or undervalued. A lower PE, again, a lower PE ratio may suggest an undervalued stock. But remember to compare it to its industry average. So we want to make sure we are not looking at different industry based on their PE. You have to look at their PE in industry average. So this is the second option that we're going to choose the PE. So how do we filter the PE? It's pretty simple. We want to choose the PE parameters to be under 20 right here. or any any PE you prefer but under 20 is considered between under 20 to 10 consider is under value or pretty good value the lower the better but again always look at the industry's average I hope you guys following me so the next up is the revenue growth Assessing a company's revenue growth over time is critical to evaluate its ability to increase sales. So we should look for consistent and preferably uh, accelerating revenue growth. So in this case, now we're going to choose a filter here. Sales grow for the past five years. So we want to make sure the sales grow for the past five years is also positive. So that way we are narrowing down uh, the uh, company whose revenue for the past five years growing. So this is another critical option that we should use and make sure also uh, save this screener at the end just to always look at those criteria you don't have to put them in 
as you can see we have almost 1162 in total which is a lot of stock so we have to still uh, lower them down the next option is depth to equity ratio is our fourth critical factor this ratio measures a company financial leverage a lower debt to equity ratio generally indicates the healthier financial position compare the ratio to industry peers and ensure the company's debt level is reasonable so for this matter we go to the finviz again and here we're gonna choose debt to uh, on the tab debt to equity ratio so we're gonna be under one under one this is very important under one is what we want okay so we choosing a debt to equity ratio under one which is also we denote a lot of stocks now we have only 866 in total but we are not done yet this is the one of the best uh, filtering for investing. It's not for trading, it's for investing. So as we follow in the, all those filters, now we are getting to the last and uh, most important cr criteria when we select in those uh, screeners filter. So our fifth and final factor is return to equity or ROE. ROE measures a company's profitability relative to shareholders' equity. Look for companies with high and stable ROE, indicating their ability to generate profit from shareholder investment. Basically, all those shareholders who buy the stock, they are hoping to invest in something that the company are able to use this money to generate income. So obviously nobody wants to invest in the company that use all those money is invested to lose money more, which are lots of company doing that. So going back to the uh, Finvis, now we are selecting on this area, return on equity. We want to make sure return on equity is over 15%, okay? This is what we use. So now we have 453 total company who are fit to this criteria. So now I know the numbers are big, but by considering to narrowing it down lower, which we will, then we could invest in a company that are most likely have a better uh, outcome for the future. So, so by choosing a market cap 2 billion to 10 billion, you narrow it down to 151. What if we go to large cap? Now we are only 92. 92 it's easier to select from, right? so again what if you want to go mega cap which is most likely it's going to give you a very small option but that way you are picking the best one out of the list so as you can see by looking at the large cap which is 200 billion and higher you can see we only have six total option here so now the only thing is left Look at the chart. On here, we can select the chart and look at where the chart indicating and how it's basically acting up or in terms of technical. So uh, everybody has different uh, approach to uh, chart and technical, but uh, I don't want to get into technical today. All I'm saying is by narrowing down all these options, now we got to the point that we at least know what company to invest on. This is again investment, okay? It's nothing to do with trading. You don't want to day trade those. You can, but uh, the chances are you are in the right direction or not wrong. It's really, you know, not. it's not gonna be perfect. So you might see Cisco, for instance, here, 
it's pretty much trying to support which is 50 right what if that support doesn't help doesn't hold so are you gonna get out or you're gonna hold it until it goes to 46 which is another support so if you are thinking let's say uh, trade Cisco you could do this buy it at the 50 if it breaks below 50 you can get out and wait for another support 46 right hopefully I'm hoping this 46 will hold but if not a lot of people also want to trade breakout so wait until 52 we break out so it depends on your style of uh, trading but as I said these companies are meant for investing is not purely meant for day trading so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope I brought some value for those who might have uh, been a little bit confused or not knowing how to use Finviz a screener to choose a proper uh, stock so good luck with your investing always always look at the fundamental if you invest in and the balance sheet so if you have any question let me know I hope you enjoyed that video if you do so don't forget to like share and subscribe for my next video if when you subscribe and click on the bell notification bell you will be notified when i post another video don't forget to also leave me a comment and share that video i hope i'll see you in my next video until then okay.